I decided to make this short video so I can introduce myself and share my story and my trainings with you. I was born and raised in the city of Dominicech. I've basically lived there until my high school graduation. Uh, Dementia is a small town uh, in the Kaluga region. Я любил проводить время вот в этом доме. Это дом моего деда. Здесь такие воспоминания из детства яркие. У него была пасека, он держал пчел. Все время был мед, яблоки, здесь большой сад. Такая просьба немножечко странная. Это просто мы раньше тут жили, и мы сейчас небольшой сюжет снимаем. Можно у вас немножечко вот просто двор поснимать? Вот, спасибо вам большое, что пустили нас. Как вас зовут? Зоя, очень приятно, Сергей. Вот с погреб, я раньше в детстве мы там играли, в войнушки там с ребятами, прятались там. Сейчас уже у вас не работает, да? Он, то есть не выполняет функцию. Угу. Так, воспоминания прям нахлынули из детства, все это ну, круто. When I was nine years old, I got into gymnastics, but there were no proper conditions uh, to train in my village, so I had to train myself. I would record competitions on the videotape and then I would study the elements. But the age of 13, I got pretty strong. I was just addicted to sports and I was training literally everywhere. After the 10th grade, me and my parents moved to Kaluga city and I significantly improved my sports results. I got qualified for uh, Master of Sports and Gymnastics. Later I got two degrees, but it was done mostly for my parents. I didn't really want to work in my degrees field. I realized that jurisprudence was not my cup of tea and I wanted to do something in my life that would bring me pleasure. That's why when I was 21 years old, I went to Moscow. I remember it was a, it was a very cold winter. It was negative 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, there was only four people in the bus, including me. It was extremely cold. So I came to Moscow. I arrived at Medvedkova. I found the sports club uh, named Stuntman. Now it's called Ivan in honor of the stuntman who died. So I went on audition, but nobody promised me anything. So every week I would take a suburban train from Kaluga to Moscow. Uh, then I would train for two days, usually Saturday and Sunday. I would sleep on the mat, mats in the gym, uh, because I have no friends in Moscow. And it was too expensive to rent my own place. Then, after seven months, I got noticed by one of the uh, casting directors. Uh, his name was Igor Nikolaevich Novoselov, and he offered me my first stuntman job. That is how my adventure started. And I really needed then in my life that in that age, in 10 years working in the film industry, we've traveled to many Russian cities went to Belarus a lot. We even worked overseas. Uh, I've met very interesting and bright people along the way. Of course, uh, during these long years of me working as a stuntman, I have some injuries uh, that were mostly my fault and not the stuntman director. There was one scary moment in my life. Uh, so the boat was attached to a fake stump. And according to the plot, the, the boat was supposed to start and tear down the stump. And so I was supposed to catch that stump uh, and so the boat would drag me along the water. So instead of just grabbing the rope, there was a little loop. So I put my hand in it and I thought that it will be better so I don't lose the grip. 
and so I twisted that loop around my wrist. The boat went off really fast, so I was completely submerged under the water with that stump and it was a crazy high speed, I couldn't lift my head, uh, head to take a breath, so I couldn't breathe at all. People on the shore started to scream like stop, stop, uh, but nobody heard anything on the boat. They were going way too fast. I felt that adrenaline in my heart was beating crazy fast. I started to think like wow, and my feet and the water level was right about my chest, but it all ended up well. I also have a small concrete business. Uh, well, I was working as a stuntman, I saved some money for that. I've purchased concrete mixers, uh, mixers. it was Kamas 7 cubes. I remember I struggled a lot of the drivers, they would get drunk all the time. I even tried to encode some of the more promising ones. Later on I realized that my health is more important. So I switched the sales only without the transportation. And that function was done by other drivers with mixers. I've always dreamed that if I ever had the son, I would personally train him and that we would go together on the training sessions. And so I got married when I was 26. And then at the age of 27, I got my son, Daniel. My dream came true. Uh, now he's uh, 10 years old and we started training when he was 3. It is very hard to teach uh, a kid how to behave in a different situation. What's important and what's not. A child, on some unconscious level, learns the model of behavior of his parents. He's learning their actions, adapting the character. In different situations, he behaves exactly like his parents would. I haven't seen my father for a long period of time because he was a sailor. He used to work in the oil tanker, so he would go away sailing for at least six months a year. And every time he, when he would come back from two months, those two months would become my best months of my entire life. I have especially bright memories when he would come back from his work. There was no internet by then. Uh, the era of mobile phones uh, was only beginning. So that's why his arrival was always a real surprise for me. I remember once I was walking back home from the store with my grandma. I was about seven years or eight years old. My grandma trusted me to carry back. And there was uh, two eggs, something like that. And we were walking towards our house and my father was walking uh, towards us with his baggage. So I threw it back on the ground. Of course, the, all the eggs is get broken and I go towards to my dad. I was always eagerly learning and digesting everything that my father was giving me. My dad is my example. Uh, my dad for me is trustworthy, strong and courageous and smart. In any situation he would always support me. But for some serious uh, misbehaviors I could have gotten some punishment. Uh, the only negative thing was that we ne never had enough time because he would sail for at least half a year or maybe it was better for me. Uh, maybe that's why I was listening so attentively to his advices. Gentlemen, be the rock for your family. The rock that can with that any difficult dis and hardships in life. Because you are the man, the man in your family, and you are responsible for the mood in your family. Be aware that your kids are learning everything from you, both good and bad. I always try to explain to my son that he should make conclusions about people based off their actions. Doesn't matter if it's a girlfriend or friends or relatives, try to never judge a person by their 
outfit or how much the tattoos they got. Don't get charmed by his eloquence. Only actions can characterize a person. I mean, eloquence is good, but it's good to support it was some actions. I really want to tell to our young generation the sport is really, is really important. And if your health conditions allow you, train as often as you can. Sport is especially important for men because it teaches you how to be patient. Because there are no fast results. Not in sports, not in life. If you've been consistent and go oriented step by step, you get closer to your goal. Sports is also antidote to depression. You're very focused and you don't think about anything else. It's just a pure joy. The most important part is that sport is a constant movement and the movement itself is life. There is plenty of examples like my friends who are also young fathers like me uh, who invest their souls into their sons. This is the only way by being examples ourselves that we can explain to our kids what's good or what's bad, what's important and what's not. Most likely this video wouldn't get too many views and likes, but it would make me happy if I would know that after watching me and my friends, someone will think their life and change it for the better. Thank you guys for watching and take care.